Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to be looking at the Divi video slider module. And I've got it right here. We've got two or three little videos there. If you scroll through, go to the various different videos. And if you click on one, it's going to play. And that's a great little feature to have on your site. Really easy to do. Let's just stop this video and we'll get started. So let's enable the visual wielder and I'll start from scratch. Okay, let's go and delete this module. I've got a section here with a row. In fact, I'm going to make this row slightly smaller so you can see more on screen because it gets quite large. So I'm going to make it slightly smaller by choosing something like this. And we'll put our module in the left hand side here. Just click on the add new module, the little dark button here. Go right the way down to the bottom and there you'll find your video slider. And by default it puts in the generic Divi video right there. So let's go into our first video right here. We can hit the little trash can to delete the Divi one there and put in our own. First one we'll do is we'll get a YouTube video via URL and then we'll upload an MP4 as well to show you how that's done. So let's add the video and go over to YouTube and grab whatever URL you want for the video that you want. And I'm sure it'll work for Vimeo also. I've not tried it with that. Hit insert from URL once you've got the URL of the YouTube video. And once it's there, let's insert it into our post. And there's our first video. And obviously you can click on it, it'll start to play. Great. When you're uploading native MP4s, it gives you the option to upload a WebM version of it as well if you want to. For compatibility but mp4s are pretty universal now we're using a youtube url so that doesn't really apply to us today with the overlay you can actually add an image or generate from video and the generate from video sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so i tend to add an image for the overlay and that'll appear as a thumbnail and we'll do that in a in a moment we've only got one video up there so there's no real thumbnails to show you can go over to design and you can change the play icon color, icon font size, usual sort of things here. You've got filters if you want to go over the top and make your video strange colors. As you can see, the sepia makes it kind of black and white looking like an old movie. Obviously, hue is going to make it strange colors. Saturation is just going to make it more vivid and what have you. But I'm happy with the way things are and common to most Divi modules if you do something don't like what you've done simply delete it it'll go back to the default for you okay we've covered transform and translate in other videos we don't need to move it anywhere we're just going to leave it right where it is so let's just save this one and it'll take us back to our main video slider settings let's add a new video now And again, we'll trash the one that's there. I'm going to go over to pexels.com and let's find a video. Let's go to videos. Let's search for something like clouds. There we go. And if you click on find one that you like, just click on it. And because we're uploading it natively, you want to get the smallest version that's going to fit for the size of screen you've got so it doesn't put too much strain on your hosting server. See the originals 38 by 40 by 2160. Full high D, full HD is going to work for me. In fact, even smaller than that because I've made it our slider slightly smaller is going to work just as well for that. So I'll use the 720 version here. Go ahead and download it. And what I'm going to do now is go back to the site. I'm going to hit add video again. This time I'm going to upload a file. Let's 
drag this one across, left click drag and release and it'll upload it for us. And there we are, now we've got two videos, you can see the thumbnails down below. And to create a better overlay, or to create a better image, go to the overlay down there. You can try generating from videos, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I think it works better on longer videos. But as you can see, that's not very interesting. So I'm gonna trash that, I'm gonna put my own in there. I'm gonna add my image. Let's put that sort of cloudy looking one in there. Or of course, you can just screenshot the video and put one in there. Okay, there's our second video. Let's just save that. And you've got the option if you don't want to use the thumbnails. If we go down to elements, we're in the main video slider settings here. You can switch from thumbnails to dot navigation. And there we've got our little dots in there. That looks tidier for you. You've still got your navigation arrows there. And over in the design, you can style those controls so they stand out. And in each video, you can go into the video, go over to design, and change your slide or arrow colors from light to dark, depending on what sort of video you're watching. Those dark ones work better on the dark one there. But I'm just generally gonna leave mine to light. Okay, so we've got two little videos there. I'll quickly add a couple more and we'll flip it back to use thumbnail track and for our video there you see the little black lines are at outside the thumbnail there we can actually upload our own image to that to fix that so that's our first one right there again go over to your overlay add the image that you want I think I've already got that one in my library there it is right there it will crop it but it'll fill it out better as you can see, that's filled that whole area. We haven't got the black bars. Like I say, it's cropped the sides, but it's a little more interesting to me. And of course, you can just put in any image there that you wish. Okay, well, I'll just quickly add a couple more and we'll take a look on the front end. So again, save this, go to our video setting. Let's quickly add a new one. We'll take away the generic Divi one. We'll add it by URL again. pop him in there let's add a different overlay again and I've got one more native one so we'll save this back to the main slider settings add a new native one we'll go into the video we'll get rid of that one again add our own video and we'll pop that one in we'll give it our own overlay one more time I'm doing this very quickly just for these last two it's exactly the same process as we shared before so now that we've got four little videos there let's save this and like I mentioned earlier you can choose to have those thumbnails there in the elements or you can have your dot nav if you feel that that's tidier there's no autoplay feature on this which is probably a good thing because that would take up a lot of resources and make your page load really slowly if it was to play these straight out of the box so you've actually got to click on them to play the video so let's save what we've got here now that we've finished that and got dot nav instead of thumbnails there let's make this back into a full width We'll save our changes and exit the Visual Builder. There we go, there's our first little video, there's our dot navigation there. We can roll forward, hit the play when you're ready. While it's playing you can roll forward to the next one. And roll forward to the next one. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.